Hey everyone, Aaron Schechter from the Wet Shaver Review. Coming to today to do actually a review. I've been hearing a lot on the Wet Shaver Review, as well as the other forums, a lot of questions from new shavers, things like, can I start out with my traditional shaving career using a straight razor? Should I start with a double edge razor? What is a good straight razor to start with? Now, I've been very vocal that I'm coming up on a year of using straight razors and I am by no means an expert, but I have, when I get into something, I really immerse myself into it and I happen to learn a lot about what my interests are. So today I figured I would address before I did my shave, I am going to show you parts of my shave in real time, but they're going to be short. I'm trying to make these videos a little bit shorter. I want to talk about probably the best bang for your buck for a quality razor that you can have for the rest of your life. I'm not going to knock any lower cost razors because they do shave, but they, this, anyone that knows geology knows about carbon content of steel and that different places in the world have better steel than others. Hence why if you go to some place like Home Depot, Lowe's, great home centers, don't get me wrong, I redid part of my house buying stuff from there, but the quality of Chinese steel or copper for that matter is cheaper than US, German, English. So let's talk about razors now, okay? I would recommend it's right around $100, okay? This razor is going to cost you. It's a brand that is well known in Europe and especially in Germany. A brand by the name of Ralph Aust. Okay, it's made in Solingen, Germany. Or you could see these razors on Straight Razor Designs website, which is just www.straightrazordesigns.com, which is where I bought mine a year ago for $100. It was right around $100. I think it was like $99, $100, something in that price range. And the nice thing about this razor is it's going to last me a lifetime because Solingen Steel, as everyone knows, is only rivaled really by Sheffield Steel, okay? Because the carbon content is so great and it holds an edge so wonderfully this is a blade that you don't have to worry about having to hone it every, you know, every three, four uses. It's something that's going to hold an edge as long as you properly strop it, keep it dry. You're going to have a razor that will outlive you, and I'm being dead serious about that. So, that being said, let me introduce you to the Ralph Faust 5 8 faux ebony scales, 5 8 blade, approximately three inches long on the blade. It's got jimps on the top and the bottom for better grip. As you can see, there's no loose pin, and I've been using this a lot over a year. Easily holds its shape and form. So, that being said, uh, the model on this, I'm not sure if it gives you necessarily a model number, but it's their base model at $99. Solgen steel made in Germany brought into the United States. This right here is a razor that will last you for the rest of your life. Properly honed and stropped, this razor will deliver BBS shaves all the time. Uh, I'm personally a, a Thiers Assard guy, so for me to say that I would recommend this off the bat as your first razor, that's pretty big considering how much I love Thiers Assard. So, I'm Aaron Schechter from the Wet Shaver Review. Point of the day is save a little bit of money, spend an extra couple bucks, and get a razor that's going to last you a lifetime that you're going to be sure to get the best possible shave. Aaron Schechter from the Wet Shaver Review. Enjoy my shave. God bless, and have a great day. Okay, everyone. I hope that my actual verbal um, assessment of the Ralph House 5 8 razor with ebony scales is a great starter razor or another great razor to add to your den. For a hundred dollars you can't go wrong. I figured I'd do at least one pass of actual shaving for you to see. The Ralph Oust 5 8 round point in action. Okay so here we go. Take a look. Great razor. So this is complimentary to the rest of the video I made. I'd love some feedback, by the way, guys. I'd love to hear what everyone thinks of the new format of how I'm doing these videos. They should be a lot shorter. 
and a lot more professional looking, but I'd love some input and some ways to make it even better. As I say quite often, I always clear that little path so I don't hit my mustache. Using that sideburn as a guideline, making sure the mustache is out of the way, of course. Rolling over the edge. Notice how I'm keeping my skin taut. This is really nothing to do with the razor, more so just to do with general shaving practices. But at the same time, it definitely shows the efficiency of this razor. Time to switch hands. Doesn't seem it, but there's actually a whole lot of hair going down that drain. Notice how I turn my head and keep my skin taut. That's very important because it helps the especially with the straight razor to really get a close shave. Absolutely effortless shave right now, everyone. Now, I actually hold this a little bit differently because I like to see what I'm able actually to... I can't see it very well out of my left eye, so I hold the razor a little bit differently in order to be able to do this properly. And I also use my right hand as well, cross over. Still using the sideburn as a guideline. Thus concludes my with the grain pass with the 5 eighths Ralph Oust in ebony scales straight razor. This should by all means be probably the first straight razor that I can personally recommend to anyone. For $100, you're going to get something that will last you a lifetime. This is a Solingen steel razor. Can you get something cheaper? Absolutely but something that's been made in Solingen, Germany, which is known for the quality of their steel, as well as Sheffield, you have a very hardened steel that's going to hold an edge and be a razor that you can be proud of and that you could have for a lifetime. So for $100, it's better to spend a little bit more and get a really, really great razor from a really reputable manufacturer like Ralph Faust, who is well known. He's newer on the scene than, let's say, per se, like Dovo. But at the same time, Ralph Faust in Germany is, and in Europe in general, is a very well-known razor. It's just relatively new to the United States. As you can see, I mean, I just did a with the grain pass, and I'm actually already feeling very, very smooth. I might come back and video my, uh, my across the grain as well. I'm not going to do an against the grain pass today. Once again, Ralph Faust 5 eighths in ebony scales, the or plastic scales, and it's a round point. So it's great for a new wet shaver. You have less chance of actually cutting yourself as opposed to like a spike point. Check it out, okay? Just if you just do a Google search for Ralph Oust, it should bring up a bunch of different information. This is the 5 eighths version, okay? This combined with the other part of my review. Hope it helps. Thanks for watching. I'm now Aaron Schechter from the Wet Shaver Review. God bless and have a great day.